Picture this, you walk out the house, you go to your mailbox, you open the mail, and you find out that you have $100,000 debt. Now you have five to 10,000 to your name, that's it, and you have three months to pay it off. How would you feel? Would you panic? Would you feel stressed? Would you feel lost? Because that's exactly what I felt when this happened to me back in 2017 and I woke up to $100,000 debt and I had no clue what I was gonna do. Now, spoiler alert, a digital product saved me, quite literally. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the process that I went through to get out of debt in three months with one digital product so that you can go through that same exact process and change your life this year, all right? Now, there, will, there won't be any fancy editing going on, it's just me talking to you, you know, as a friend. So if you don't appreciate that, well, you know, go find somebody else. But let me share with you exactly what happened. Now, first of all, long story short, how did I get the $100,000 debt? Very simple. I was doing e-commerce, so selling physical products online. And I grossed, like I, I made a lot of sales, right? Multiple six figures. Uh, but my accountant told me that there was this tax that I wouldn't have to pay because of how I operated my business, right? So I'm here, I don't have to pay that tax. So I'm not making, I'm not putting that money aside. I'm just using it to spend more ads, to, you know, spend on marketing, like products, whatever, right? And so I stopped the business after a few problems that I didn't want to deal with, like funds blocked here and, you know, issues there, mistakes there, whatever. I did like a lot of expensive mistakes and I wanted to just stop. I stopped, right? A year goes by, I have about $10,000 left in my bank. I'm like, okay, now I need to figure out what I'm gonna do next because money's getting tight, you know? So as I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do next, I discovered this $100,000 debt and I'm like, what the hell is this? I called the accountant, the accountant's like, yeah, well, I told you this. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is what you told me. And she's like, no, I told you this and that. I'm like, bro, I know exactly what you, like, I wouldn't have done this. But here is when I find out about a real expensive lesson that you won't have to go through that debt to understand because I'm gonna share it with you now. You see, with entrepreneurship comes a lot of entrepreneur shit that you're gonna to have to deal with on a regular basis. And if you're not ready for that, you're not ready to be an entrepreneur. Now, hopefully you won't have to deal with that much shit, <laughs> you know? But at the end of the day, it's your business and whatever mistakes happen, whether you do it or a team member does it, at the end of the day, it's your business, you're gonna to have to deal with it and take full responsibility for it. Now, I'm over here panicking, stressing, I'm having panic attacks, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I remember scrolling on Facebook and this is where something happened. I had this switch that made me realize one thing that's very important that I want you to realize right now because this is gonna be the key to change your life. I'm scrolling the ads and I stumbled upon an ad of somebody being like, hey, come to my webinar. I'm gonna teach you the three secrets or whatever to have $1,000 days doing e-commerce, like how to do 1K day with dropshipping and selling physical products online. And when I saw this, now, most people, when they see this, they're like, wow, a $1,000 day, amazing, I wanna sign up, whatever. Me, when I saw this, it's not at all what I thought. What I thought was, really? Like, that's it? Like, that's what you're teaching? Because, mind you, I was having a successful dropshipping business before I stopped everything, right? Like, I had 3K days, 5K days, 10K days, my biggest day was $14,000 in one day. Now, it's sales, not profit, but still. And I'm like, so I have done this. I know how to do this. I have the skills to do this. But you're making money teaching people how to do 1K day? That's it. And here's what, what happened to me. I was like, bro, if you are legitimate to teach somebody something about dropshipping, mosquito, then... I'm definitely legitimate to teach somebody about dropshipping. Like, I'm definitely legitimate if you are, right? And this is where I had this switch, and I'm like, well, I have a $100,000 debt. How many programs, like let's say a $2,000 product, how many of those should I sell in order to make 100,000? And I did the math, and it's 50. If I sell 50 times a $2,000 product, I have a hundred thousand dollars. Now, 
The good thing about digital products is it's full profit. I don't have to pay for suppliers. I don't have to pay for shipping, for handling. I don't have any inventory of stock, you know, or production, like rollouts to take care of, like nothing. It's just an email. Boom, Here your, here's your access, right? So I thought, okay, if I sell 50, I can get out of debt. Now, how do I sell a $2,000 product when all I know how to sell is $20 products, $50 products, $100 products, right? And so I took a big chunk of the little money that I have left to invest in a course about how to sell digital like courses, actually, you know, and how to do ads for that specific things and how to do webinars for those specific things, like the whole thing, like how do you sell a course, right? So I bought this course. And same, like along the lines of this, I created my YouTube channel as well, this one right here, where I was like, okay, I'm gonna start teaching people what I know about e-commerce. And hopefully with YouTube and ads, like I can build sufficient visibility to have enough people to be interested in whatever I'm selling. And then maybe I can convert enough people in order to pay back the debt. And the thing is I had three months only, so I didn't really have time to spend a lot of time creating the product. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sell the product before I even create it. And if people pay it, then I know it's worth my time. And I won't have to invest all this money, all this time to create a great product that nobody wants to buy. So the first thing that I did, the first thing that you can do is come up with the name of your product. Create a name. A name that feels, that sounds sexy, you know, a name that you feel proud of. You're like, hmm, damn, I want that, like iPhone, right? iPhone sounds sexy. Like you're like, damn, I want one of these, you know? Like what kind of name could you come up with for your product, right? Also, what is the promise of your product? What is the outcome that your customers are going to experience through buying your product? Because this, you don't sell ever. And a lot of people do this mistake. You do not sell a product, you sell a transformation, right? Whether you, spell, whether you create a digital product, whether you sell coaching, whether you sell a service, like an online service, like email marketing, content creation, whatever. You are not selling a product or a service, you are selling a transformation, an outcome, right? And the clearer you are on the outcome that you want to create and to produce for somebody, and the clearer you can communicate and articulate that, the easier it's going to be for you to sell. So what is the outcome and what is the name? My outcome was I learned, like I learned how to do a hundred thousand dollars worth of sales, sales. And I did that in two weeks with my dropshipping business. So I was like, you know what? If everybody does exactly what I tell them to do, which is exactly what I did to do a hundred K, they can, they can make a hundred K. And so my promise was, I'm going to show you exactly what I did, step by step. You look at my screen, click by click, whatever. Like everything I did to have my 100K, I'm going to show you exactly what it is. Plus, plus, I'm going to prevent you from making the expensive mistakes that I've made with my accounting, with people that I hired that I couldn't get rid of after that. It cost me a lot of money with big mistakes with, you know, like fulfilling and fulfillment of the orders, like everything, like just, just the mistakes alone. Like you're going to save so much more than the $2,000 price of the product. Right. And so this was kind of the thing. And then I was like, okay, you know what? My name is going to be like, like pretty much in French, it was Objective Sanka. In English, it would be like, uh, goal, a hundred K goal, right? hundred K goal would be the, the name in English. So, 100K in 90 days. That was a promise. And then I'm going to show you exactly what I did so that you can replicate the exact same thing that I did without the mistakes and make 100K in 90 days or less. And I even came up with a crazy guarantee because I needed this thing to sell fast, right? I knew my process was right. I knew it worked. But you, like everybody, and this is for you as well, you know your thing works. You know what you know. And you know what happened to you when you did what you know how to do. But people that you are trying to sell that product to, they don't know that. They don't know you even. 
how would they trust you? How would they trust that your product is going to deliver the outcome that you say is going to deliver with full certainty? Because sales is an exchange of certainty, right? Like the more, like at the end of the day, if we both talk, we both have this talk, and let's say that I'm going to talk to you about uh, the Digital Wealth Academy program, right? The, the digital marketing course that teaches you how to launch your digital marketing business and you can actually resell the program, whatever. I'm going to talk to you about, a little bit more about that after, but like, let's say I'm going to talk to you about this course that you can buy, right? And that's going to teach you how to do this. And I'm certain that it's going to help you, but you're not certain that it's going to help you, you know? Like you're more certain that it's not for you than you are certain that it is for you. If you are more certain than me, you're going to make the sale, which means I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm not going to sell you. You're like, you're just going to sell me on the fact that you're not going to purchase, if that makes any sense. Because everything's a, everything's a sale. At the end of the day, if we have this conversation, and if you buy my product, I made the sale. If you do not buy the product, then you made the sale. Like you sold me your conviction that it's not for you. A sale is going to happen no matter what. Okay? But all this to say, I was very certain that if you do what I say, you're going to have the result. So I even added a guarantee, which I learned after, that there's certain ways to do those guarantees. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not good because it's going to attract a certain kind of people as well. Because the people that are looking for guarantees in business are people that do not understand the, the very nature of business and the very nature of life itself. Like there's no guarantee that you're even going to wake up tomorrow. What are you talking about? There's no guarantee that your business is going to succeed. That's the whole purpose of business. That's the whole thing about business. That's why people don't go and create their businesses because there's no guarantee. But at the end of the day, there's no guarantee you're going to keep your job either. There's no guarantee you're going to be alive tomorrow. There's no guarantee nowhere. Like it's it just, it doesn't exist, right? So, if you have those crazy guarantees like I did, and I'm going to show, share with you the actual guarantee that I did, if you create those crazy guarantees, and we start to see a lot of them online right now, like, you know, like, this happens, or oh, you don't pay me, like, you know, those crazy guarantees, is going to attract, like, the worst kind of clientele at the end of the day. Like, you're going to have the worst customers, the most demanding ones, the most, pff, like, it's going to be a pain in the ass for you. And at the end of the day, they're going to be frustrated because you're not there for them all the time like a slave because that's what they want you to do. And you're going to be frustrated because you're, the, on the, you're the on, on the other hand of that and your clients aren't getting the results that you know you can give them because they're not, they're just not the good clients for you, you know? So my guarantee was you purchase a program if you do what I tell you to do. And you didn't even make one sale. Like you did, let alone the 100K. You didn't even make one sale. Not only am I, am I going, oh, oh, over the 90 day period, right? Not only am I going to give you your money back, but I'm even going to give you $500 out of pocket just for wasting your time. So that was my guarantee. That was my offer. 100K in 90 days. You do exactly what I'm telling you to do. And if you don't make even one sale, then I'm just going to refund you and give you 500 bucks. That was my offer. I didn't have the course yet. I spent a lot of money on ads. I say a lot of money, it was like about $3,000. It's not a lot of money, but it was a lot of money for me based on what I have left, right? So I spent a lot of money on ads. I created my webinar. Everything, like there's a lot of mistakes along the way. Like I'm just going so fast, like I don't have time to make it perfect, right? So there's technical issues, Zoom doesn't exist, right? So there's a, like a webinar software, like that's kind of complicated to know how to run it. And then I launched the webinar, then network connection problems and boom, the, the, the room closes and I have to launch it again, but now I'm losing people. Like it was just a mess, right? But I'm doing my webinar, I'm going all out, I'm putting all my energy into it. And I remember my first ever webinar. So I spent about $3,000 on ads and I made $10,000 during this, 90 minute window, $10,000 in a 90 minute window, $10,000 in a 90 minute window, profit, like, like profit, it's a digital product that I didn't even have. 
I sold, for that matter, I sold wind. I sold nothing and I made 10K. All I sold was an idea, a plan, an idea. This is what you need to sell first, especially if you want to start selling expensive things. Before you go ahead and create it, sell the idea. If people buy the idea, they're going to buy the product. I did this. It worked. I had my YouTube channel. Blew up, right? And the ads on one side, the YouTube on the other side, it was really working well together because people were discovering me online and some of them were going on YouTube, trying to look me up, you know, and the content there is great to convert people into buyers because now people spend time with you, they get to know you, they get to trust you more, they get to see that you're an actual person, that you actually, you know, know what you're talking about, whatever, and that brings sales too because it brings trust. So this was like kind of a great thing that happened. It was a great synergy. And I did that for like two months. Webinars, YouTube, closing on live webinar. And also I learned phone sales, like how to actually close deals on the phone. This is how I learned setting and closing. How you're going to take somebody that signed up to your webinar, how to talk to them in the specific way, and then how to get them on the phone then how to handle the phone call in a specific way that you close the deal on the phone and you pick up the phone and when you hang up, you have $2,000 in the bank. That's a great skill to have, let me tell you, okay? And this is what happened. And over the, pe the, the next three months, I did 300,000 in sales, in sales, okay? Meaning that I had like half cash collected. So I, I made $150,000 cash collected. And I had $150,000 that were going to come with payment plans. Now, there was a lot of mistakes that happened with payment plans as well. And I'm not sure I would recommend those anyway right now. Like if you're getting started right now, I would, I would suggest that you get away from payment plans. And uh, maybe there's one condition where you could do that is, you know, there's tools right now, there's companies that allow you to get paid once, but your customers pays in multiple times, right? Now, if you can qualify for that, then you can offer payment plans because it doesn't matter to you because you get paid in one time, you know? Now, there's a lot of things that I've learned along the way. There's a, I mean, you can imagine webinars, ads for digital products, how to create a, a full on course, like small products as well, the YouTube thing, the, the, the closing, the setting, the how to actually handle then the customers once you have them. A lot of mistakes there as well. And let me tell you something. I've learned a lot, a, a lot of things, but I recently bought this course called Digital Wealth Academy. And it's like having kind of like a condensed version of all the, the good stuff that you need to know in order to have success fast in today's day and age. Not selling expensive products though. Not selling expensive products. If you want to sell expensive products, come to me. <laughs> don't get to, don't like, not DWA. But you could sell expensive services with the skills that you're going to start learning with DWA. You can do that. But like if you want to sell expensive courses, doing webinars and everything, you're not going to learn that complex stuff over there. You're going to learn the basic stuff that works and that's easy enough for everybody to do that. And why I recommend this product so much is because not only did I, bu did I buy it, went through it, I was like, damn, if only I had this, <laughs> you know, but there's also a bonus that is called master resale rights, which means that once you buy the product, if you don't know kind of what kind of digital product you could sell, what kind of transformation you could provide, how to price your product, how to set up everything, whatever, you can actually sell the course itself and you keep 100% of the profits. So by buying the product, you instantly have a $500 product that you can sell right now and start making $500 profit every time you sell it. Now, even if you sell just one, one a month, that's 500 bucks a month. That's $6,000 extra a year. Did you make $6,000 extra last year doing almost nothing like an hour or two hours a day, max, like max. And that's one a month. You sell two a month, that's an extra 12K. You sell three months, that's an extra whatever it is. Four a month, that's like 24,000. 
Just four sales a month, okay? Now, I would highly recommend you to check out this thing. And if you have any questions about the course itself, like what it comes with, how to access it, whatever, you can hit me up on Instagram. But I just wanted to share with you that it is possible and that you can really have good results in a very short amount of time, but you have to, like, you have to go crazy. Like you have to go crazy. You have to be focused. You have to be like all in. You have to be all in. You cannot just, you know, tiptoe your way into a life changing outcome. That was a great quote right there. You cannot just do that. You have to go all in. There's no, oh my God, is there a guarantee? Like, no, bro, there's no, like you are the guarantee. Like I, I'm going to make it work. You understand? I'm the guarantee. I'm going to do everything. I'm going to do what it says. I'm going to do it every day and I'm going to do it until it works. And if it doesn't work, then it means one thing because all work works. Either it's working for you and you have the results or it's working on you. You don't have the results outside, but you are growing into the person that can make that work work for you. As my mentor Myron Golden would say. You need to understand this. It might not work right there because you might not just get the skills right there. Like it's going to take some trial and error, mistakes here, mistakes there, some analyzing like, oh, okay, I did this and worked. I did this, didn't work. Okay, let me do more of what works then. And you, and you build and build and build and build and build and build. And one, like after, after a few weeks, after a few months, after maybe a few years, I don't know, it's going to get pretty impossible for it not to work for you. You understand? And here's the thing. Whether you do this or you don't, time will pass anyway. Whether you invest in a course today or whatever you do, a coaching, a course, a product, or you don't do anything, you just invest your time and you try shit, you spend money on ads, you do whatever, you do you, right? But whether you do it or not, in two, three, four, five, six years, God willing, two, three, four, five, six years will have passed. And you will be there two, three, four, five, six years older. Now, do you want to be six years older with a business that makes you five hundred thousand, two thousand dollars every day before you even wake up? Or do you want to be six years older without it? Like the choice is yours at the end of the day. And it's really a choice that you have to make. It's not even a choice that you have to make. It's a decision that you have to make, which means you need to eliminate any other choice. There's no other choice. That's what's going to happen. That's a decision. And I would highly suggest that you make that decision sooner than later. Because tomorrow is not promised. Right? There's no guarantee once again. The only guarantee that you have is this moment right now. And you have to make the most of it. That's what I believe. So if you want to make the most of it, subscribe to this channel, check out the link in my bio, whatever, description, comments, whatever. Reach out to me if you have questions. I'd be happy to help you out, whether it's with YouTube or digital marketing, whatever. But do something. I don't just go there and watch another video and do nothing. Like, do something. Help yourself, all right? Now, talk soon in another video. Bye-bye.